This is a kill switch by remote control. You still have to hook underneath your car, but you don't have to now get out and pop your hood every single time. To engage and disengage your switch, you get everything you need. Tie wraps, an instruction guide, the parts, remote control, the batteries, and terminal. The maker remote switch, you hook to the positive only or the negative only. A lock washer, a washer, and a terminal. You're going to decide which side of the terminal you want to put this and the area, if it's upside down or right side up. You're going to take the terminal, screw it on. With the correct tools, you're going to tighten down. If you want to take the ground and place the ground on, this ground over here may do so. Tighten this down with the appropriate tool. With the open ring and the positive terminal anywhere on your positive, you may put so right over here. When you're going to touch negative to negative and everything's hooked up, the machine comes on. It gives you a idea of your battery. Place on your battery terminal. You have a ground terminal post. It's going to go on. Adjust it. And lock it down. Tuck all your wires and leads. Place on the piece and put on the wing nut. Lock it down. You're all set with the remote control to turn on and off your unit. Like so. My kill switch should be on. My kill switch is off. Kill switches are great. They protect your car from theft. They do a good job. Installed correctly in most cars that may fit for your needs. If you're looking for a kill switch, I hope this product is something that you're looking for. It is not an easy install on some cars, and it is an easy install on other cars. I hope this is the right kill switch you are looking for.